What's up guys? Welcome to Get Real Bass Fishing. Today we're talking about lures, rods, and reels. Over there we have some of the rods that we were using throughout the last year, the year before that, and uh, some of the rods that he's used, Who he's not really familiar with all the specs on things, so we're going to get his opinion on all three of those rods since he has used them. They're all different uh, price points. One is around $80, one's $120, and one is close to $300. So we're going to get his view on what rod a beginner should get. We're going to throw at you some lures that we were using all of those rods for. So uh, all the ones that we're going to talk about here, we actually started fishing with every single one of those rods. So they're basically very versatile when it comes to fishing. So it's more of like an all around rod that we're going to talk about. Also, we have some different reels here. Um, as you can see, we have the more expensive Van Stalls. And then we also have the Daiwa BGs, which I have him using <laughs> instead of the Van Stalls because um, I can't afford to get another Van Stall for him to use. So we have very different price points as far as rods, reels, and lures, and that's what we're going to talk about. So let's go. Ready? If Owen wakes up for a snap, can we bring him in to tackle talk? I guess we'll bring Owen in. Give him a shot? We'll give him a shot. Okay. It's yeah. not his debut, but no, we'll no. give him a shot. We'll give him a shot at tackle talk if he wakes up. It's very late right now for the baby. It's uh, 8.15. So. All right, let's, let's start talking. So first, we're going to talk about the rod. So if you want to grab the one on the left, that is... The very first surf rod that I ever purchased because uh, I was on a very small budget um, working a minimum wage job when I purchased this. And this was the $80 Pen Prevail, which is a 9 foot medium moderate fast. And it is rated for 3 quarter to 3 ounce lures. Um, honestly, that, that rod has done me a lot of good. I've caught a lot of fish on it. Here, I'll bring it closer to you guys. I'll take this part. Yeah. It's a 50-50 split. It's a 50-50, and you guys can see that it is very weathered, very much used, and uh, this has been going through all of my fishing. You can go back in the videos, you'll see the pen prevail. I've caught so many fish on it, I've butchered it on the rocks, and it's actually doing very, very well. And he's actually started fishing with that too. Um, over here is the more expensive one that I have. Um, this is a... I need the other piece. This is a Tsunami Salt X 10.6, and it is a medium heavy, I believe. 10.6 medium heavy, rated for three quarter to four ounce. And uh, this rod, I've put through the works too. Let's see. Um, do we have a weathered piece that that I can show here? Give me the handle. So this is actually my Mont my Montauk stick. So I'll show you real close how far. So that's the butt of the rod there, and this is the reel seat, and that is near my shoulder line right here. So that is a very long butt. So I use this in Montauk when I'm walking around and uh, I have my van stall on that one. Specifically because I'm always going in the water with that big rod, whether it's in the surf, casting far, not technically swimming, but I'm in the water deep, reeling in the water, up on the jetties getting wet, or I'm fishing out of Montauk using it as a walking stick. So. That is the Van Stahl VSX 200 that I have on that rod. 60-40? Uh, 70-30. 70-30. So that's a 70-30 split, and that was the $300 rod. And I've also had that for, I think, three years now. And this one is the newest one. I'll let you talk about that, even though you don't know too much about what it is. But um, the title of this one is the Akuma Solaris series. This was $120. And I believe this is a medium heavy as well, rated to two to six ounce, and it's a nine six. So let's break it down. He wanted a rod for himself. Instead of con constantly using my rods, he wanted one. So uh, we got him this one, which is rated two to six ounce. So for most things that we're going to be throwing, um, you can get away with uh, a one ounce, one and a half ounce bucktail. You can get away with working the little mag darters or a six inch, five, even a five inch uh, SP minnow. 
And you can get away with fishing all the way up to six ounces and bigger plugs with this 9.6. So yeah, that's, that's the reason we got him that rod. However, talk about your experiences with it and if it's a good rod for 120 bucks as you, opposed to the 80 and the 300. Well, obviously. I do it's not broken. No, no. So I say that. Want these. No, I, I liked it. It was uh, the first one that I actually purchased uh, after using yours and realizing I didn't want to break yours. I'd rather break my own and I wouldn't feel so bad. I broke, but I, I broke three this year. Yeah. So. I didn't want to be part of that. But uh, I enjoyed fishing with this. I caught a couple stripers, a bunch of blues. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think I caught any, no, no blackfish on this, but just stripers and blues on this, and I enjoyed it. Yeah. It was a nice fight. You from the jetty, felt it. From the jetties, yeah. from the ocean, from the Yeah, beach, we fished the back bays, the back too, with bays it also. With it. Yeah. And I enjoyed fishing with it. I, I, I liked the action on it, and uh, I thought it was a very good purchase. Now I just gotta work on uh, getting my own reel. So yeah, well we'll talk about that. Give me what these, would be the best matchup for this? Give me the Salt X. Let's talk about this first. Just so I, I told you that the Salt X had a long butt. A lot of people always ask me about my Salt X, and it's good. It's very very good. But look at that. It's pretty doggone close. So that is the Okuma Solaris versus the Salt X. But I don't know if the camera's gonna pick up the difference in in butt width. So this is a lot thinner than this one. This one's a lot easier to cast for uh, an entire day, and it casts farther since this is on a 10.6 rod as well. So this 10.6 is gonna cast farther than the 9.6. So when fishing on the rocks and I want to get out far in Montauk, I got the 10.6. Ooh. And he's breaking, he's breaking rods. They this haven't is, even gone This is yet. how they break. <laughs> but, alright, so let's talk about the Akuma Solaris. We have the Daiwa BG 5, uh, 5000. So this is a big reel. Um, Daiwa's BG series are a lot bigger than the um, Penn Spin Fishers as far as size and numbers. But, yeah, this has been dunked. It, I don't even think this is a sealed reel. It was less, I want to say it's less than a hundred bucks. I think I got this for $99. I got this one for $99. And uh, we've put this in, in the surf. We've had it in the sand. But as always, you clean it out. You take care of it. Clean the sand out. Um, your rods, are, your reels are going to be very, very good. It's the one I mostly use for the season. That's the one, yeah. Yeah, I liked it. It was it was nice. Yeah, that well, thing got dunked a little in the ocean one one night. Of course, and it's still super smooth. It doesn't sound like anything. Yeah. Oh, it's still really good reel. Clean them out. Take care of them. Um, yeah, hundred dollar reel, hundred twenty dollar rod right there. So right there, you're at two twenty. Um, the only thing with the BGs is they take a lot of line. As far as this, uh, forty pound braid, you can get four hundred eighty yards onto this spool which uh, it could add up to a lot of money but line without line you're not fishing anyway so you got to add that into your budget but that can also go on to a nine foot pen prevail which was eighty dollars and you can also put the vsx 200 on there which is a 900 hundred dollar reel so essentially all of these things that we have here are interchangeable with all of the rods and they work just as good just depends on your budget, what you're doing, you're going swimming with it. I'd get the Van Stahl right from the start. If you're just fishing from the shore and you're casting out, maybe getting splashed on, go do the BG. Do a Penn Spin Fisher 6. We have a couple of them back there, but they're just way behind everything. Now we have we have 40 pound braid on both of these and 30 pounds on our Van Stalls. So that's, that's the lines that we use. Um, I would put 30 pound on here as well. But uh, I only had a big spool of 40, so I put 40 on there. And we were also bait fishing, so there was a chance we were going to catch rays or a possible shark or something like that. So we just put 40 on there just in case, and we did pretty good. So always with leader, too. Yeah, always with a leader. We always have, depending on what we're fishing for, 40 pound, 50, 60, 80. The, if you're going for bluefish, we're going more towards the 60, 70, 80 pound line uh, leader. And if we're fishing for stripers, if we're not around rocks, just open beach, we're going 40, 50, 60. Unless we're, we know there's giant fish, then we'll just throw on 80 fish at night. They're not going to see it. All right, let's talk about the lures. 
All right, so what catches us a lot of fish throughout the year is the bucktail. As you guys know, we make our own bucktails. I tie them in the workshop and we have one and a half, one ounce, three quarter ounce, uh, half ounce and quarter ounce. Now when it comes to these, we are not fishing um, half ounces or the quarter ounce. We are fishing what they're rated up to. We're, we're, we're actually gonna go down to a three quarter sometimes, it depends. We had some times when we were fishing the jetties and we had the uh, the rip coming in around the jetty and a one ounce was just going a little too far not having the action I wanted so I threw a three quarter on and got the correct drift I wanted and just slammed fish every single time it got to a certain point in that rip. Put a one ounce on and it was just a little too deep, it didn't have the action, wasn't the size. So you can fish smaller ounce lures than these rods are recommending. So we have a bunch of three quarters, one ounce, one and a half ounces that we use uh, and we sell. So switchandrelease.com slash shop if you want. But you can also go up to what is rated, three ounce, four ounce, six ounce. Right here is a uh, three ounce that we make. Uh, we don't have many of these. We don't sell many of these. So. Um, yeah, we have the three ounce that we can fish the Saltex with. We can fish the Akuma Solaris with. I wouldn't really do this on the nine out, no, nine foot uh, Pen Prevail, but yeah, if you need to, then go for it. Chances are you're gonna snap the rod, so try to avoid throwing a larger rod of uh, lure on the Pen Prevail. And you got the different heads. Yeah, also. we got the uh, the smiling ones too. So I think this is a two ounce. And then, of course, the fat cow split tails. But we got plenty of bucktails that we fish with. All of those rods, all the way up to about two ounce, two and a half comfortably. Uh, the Solaris can obviously take more. And then we go into the infamous green diamond jigs. So I've actually broken two rods on overweighted diamond jigs. One was my John Skinner, the dark matter rod, and one was a Tsunami Airwave. This is just dead weight, so when you whip it forward or whip it back, there's a chance that that tip is going to snap with too much weight. So just be careful, but this is an A27. We fish comfortably with all of those rods. We also fish the A17s comfortably, which are two ounces and three ounce lures right here. Um, but yeah, we, we comfortably fit the two and three ounce lures on all of those rods. Um, if you need an A47, just try to be comfortable with it. Don't don't try to do any crazy movements. Just do a nice cast out. Now you've caught a lot of fish on the diamond jigs. Mm -hmm. How did it feel on the Solaris? I liked it. Okay. It was. Uh, I think I was using the green. I think it was the smaller one though. A17s. Yeah. I think it was this one. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The two ounce. Yeah. I banged a couple. I think mm -hmm. I got some blues with these. Yeah, so with the A17s and A27 diamond jigs, you don't really need too much action going on. You just bring it up, and that tail is just going to go in the water and basically just go like this every time. And you got that flash, the weight to get it down, not a lot of drag like um, SP minnows or bucktails. So it's just going to go straight down, and you're just pulling up and doing stuff like that. So it's really not much action that you need a different rod type for. So all of those rods work really good for the diamond jigs. What do we got there? The infamous, the most famous, the SP minnows. And how many fish did you catch on the SP minnows last year? I caught a bunch on the cream color. Uh, and bone. Bone color, yeah. Obviously they're all filled. So oh, everything's yeah. stuck to each other. We slammed the back base, if I remember, with this, right? Yeah, we had we did insane on all those rods. Yeah, because we all, we had one at different times, and um, we didn't want to fish the big ten sixes in the back bay because we didn't need to. So we were fishing the nine foot and the nine sixes, right. and then we also have the five inch. That is a six inch right there. So all of the Harold the up. All of those rods do really, really well with throwing the five inch and the six inch SP minnows. And fun to fish. Yeah, so these also, these require some action. So we have the medium heavies and the medium, medium moderates. Both do very well with the twitching reaction strikes and uh, just reeling it in with the occasional twitch. So you don't have to worry about having a more bendy rod to say or a more stiff rod 
So both of all three of those rods do really, really well with this. Where I found a big difference is leader. So if we were throwing 80 pound leader, these five inch ones or even the six inch ones weren't doing as well as far as action if we were using a 40 pound leader. So just keep that in mind. Leader does affect action, but you also don't want to lose fish. So if you're going to rub up against rocks or you're fighting with 60 pound class fish, then you might want something over a 40 pound leader. So that's the SP minnows. They work great on those rods for the $80 or the $300 rods. Again, leader size matters a lot when it comes to action. And I'll just show, we've got a bunch of different colors. Uh, SPs come in so many different colors, you can find them. Amazon, eBay, Bass Pro, tackle shops, whatever it might be. And of course, we can't forget about the mag darter. Yes. Do all three work well with the mag darters? All right, so let's see. I know we have, all right, so we have this one. I actually retired this one. We'll go up close on this. That one is just completely destroyed. And obviously it'll continue to work, but I don't wanna risk losing this bait because this is the bait that caught me all of my fish in the spring. So all the paint's coming off, and that was on a 10.6 in the back bay. It was on the nine foot in the back bay and a couple other rods that I don't have anymore because I broke them uh, with the diamond jigs. But you know, it is what it is. Now will all of those work on, hold that one, a five inch and a six inch, or maybe this is a seven inch mag garter. Yes. $300 rod and the $80 rod will work just as fine. The only thing is the same thing with the SP minnows. These dive, they wiggle, they go like that, they come back up, they float. So your leader line is gonna make a big difference. Like I said, on the van stalls, that's what I'm, I'm mostly fishing. He's fishing these BGs. I'm throwing 30 pound braid and he's throwing 40. But really that leader is going to affect if not the big ones, it's definitely going to affect how the action is on the smaller ones. I think I'd rather take a chance and go a little lighter and definitely. just have more action. Definitely. You know? But they will all work on the mag darters. So this one is the blurple, I think. The blurple is the color of choice. And then the yellows, of course. Yeah, we did good on these that one night. The, all the nights. Yeah. All the nights. Like all of my blurples are all butchered and beat up, but those rods, they did the job. We got the action and it worked. All right. So is that the night we caught on the blurple? Did you get that big weak fish on that? Yes. Yeah. I yeah, I caught the weak fish on it too. That was the night it purple blurple worked on that was my birthday. everything. That was my I birthday. I read that trip. That was yeah. an awesome trip. I'll link that below. Again, uh, I don't know if I said it already in this video, but everything that we're talking about, the lures, rods, reels, lines, um, everything, rods, everything is going to be in the description below. So if you want to purchase them, go ahead and use those links below. They are Amazon affiliates, so they will help us a little bit. Uh, we don't make much, but every little bit counts. So uh, we'll link everything down there for you. Yeah, don't forget the uh, bucktails. I mean, And the bucktails. Definitely. We can make those. So if you really want to support us, we make more profit off of the, um, the bucktails too, as far as uh, making commission off of Amazon. So if you can help us with that, we got plenty of bucktails for you. We'll also be at the Ward Melville show in, this is 2023, so if people are viewing this in the future, 2023 Ward Melville show, uh, we'll link the details down there below as well. And uh, hope to see you guys there, but we're gonna still, we're, we still got stuff to talk about. All right, so, we're going to talk about this is where action really matters and should rods that we have here work with this kind of stuff big things such as top water they matter um if you can't get the action that you want out of your top water baits then it's just kind of useless although some fish like bluefish will go after anything they see Sometimes they want something specific. So if you can't work a bait the way that it should be or the way you want to present it, then that's an issue. All right. I'll hang this back up. We'll talk about that later. All right. 
So we have, this is a Tsunami Talking Popper. It's one of the more inexpensive top waters. Uh, it's just a, a plastic one. Uh, where is it? We've gone through a bunch of them actually, but for good reason. And most of these, I end up just breaking, smashing onto the rocks on the jetties. Not on fish or anything like that. That's the swarter. But can you work a six inch uh, pencil popper, a spook, or even a small, tiny pencil popper and spook on those rods? Uh, you can work the big baits on those big rods. That's essentially it. Uh, these smaller ones we have smaller rods for. They work better on my seven and eight foot rods. Uh, again, with these smaller lures, you're gonna require a smaller leader because that big leader line, especially those knots and everything are going to affect how things wiggle on the top. And um, the, big, the big rods kind of have a problem casting and they have a problem uh, working the smaller baits because you just move a 10-6 rod just that much from the reel seat and all the way at the tip, it's moving that much or that much. And it's just, it's, it's too much for a bait that is, in fact, that much big, <laughs> you know? So with the big six inch ones, even the five inch ones work good on the 10-6, those 9-6, the Saltex, Saltex Solaris and the uh, Pen Prevail. But you can also work these smaller spooks. These are the Saltwater Series spooks and they do work on all of those rods, again, I'm gonna just kill saying this. It's the leader material, the line diameter on your leader is going to affect how your top orders work. If you have a swivel on attached to this, it's gonna affect it how uh, compared to no swivel and just a knot, and even a barrel swivel compared to just a knot. So when it comes to top order, a lot of it comes down to the line and the size of your bait as opposed to the rod. Now I've had better uh, reaction from my baits with a longer rod just because I'm able to get the line up higher off of the water and I'm able to work it more and have more bend in the rod where I need to actually start um, twitching or walking the dog. So if you had to go for a designated top water all around I would go with the 10.6 or a 10 foot in general. Um, the 9.6s you can get away with it. Uh, it's a little bit easier in the back bays where you're kind of like in the water more or on the shore. You can just work it in a little bit calmer water as opposed to the ocean. But I would stick with the bigger rods for top water if you had to. You had a good top water day or night. Remember that? In the spring? That was on the jetty, right? Or was that in the back bay? No, that was the back bays. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I you, remember You that. beat me. You caught more fish I than I did. I think I caught four fish to your one, or none. I, I don't think you caught anything. I didn't then. catch anything but yeah, small yeah, crabs. But that was a good night for me. What rod were you using on that day? Well, it wasn't my new one. It wasn't. It, it was too early. It, it had to be. I, I want to say it was this one here. Which is the nine foot. But was the nine? Well, we were in the back bay, so yeah. it was fine. Mm -hmm. Once again, you know, calmer water. So we were able to keep the line off of the water a lot easier than if there were waves. So yeah, where the knots, just the that, leader. Yeah, and we were using- The tide the, was just ripping that night, if I remember. Yeah, everything was pulling yeah. to the right. But yeah, all of those rods, these, these reels, they all work for everything that we mentioned. So if you're going into the spring, you're looking for a rod, um, you can get them on Amazon. Like I said, we'll link those below. But you can also go to uh, Dick Sporting Goods. I think Walmart might have the pen prevail. Um, I, Dix definitely has the Solaris and the Tsunami. Most of the local tackle shops will have the Tsunami rods too. Um, they don't have a big inventory of all of these rods. However, Amazon does have everything you need. But I like feeling my rods too. So I, yeah. I, I would recommend if you can go to the shops, go to the shops, support the local guys. But yeah, the, all of those rods. I'm just saying the 10.6 Saltex, the 9.6 Solaris, and the 9-foot Pen Prevail have all worked very, very well for us so far. And uh, the Saltex and Prevail have lasted over three years. And I've broken probably six or seven surf rods alone in More those than, times. More so, than you won. <laughs> yeah. 
So that just puts more credit onto those rods and these reels. I think it's a good investment. Yeah, I'd say. Everybody keeps asking me about the Saltex, and I have nothing bad to say about the Saltex. Yeah. Nothing bad whatsoever. Or the $80 pen for Val. Hey, it's all the budget you have. I mean, you want to get out and fish. You don't want to spend $1,000 on something, but you want to fish. Save up, save up until April or May and put a couple bucks away, get the pen prevail, get the BG, save a couple bucks, get the Saltex if you have a reel already. You know, it's, you could do it. Or if you could really save. Yeah, I mean, if you could really save, just go advanced all, all the way, but yeah, that's what it is. No limits. No limits. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess that's that. Uh, we're going to do more tackle talks. And uh, we're, we'll probably just go more in depth with specific tackle, like I said in the other videos that we've shot. Um, you saw all of, uh, we have more tackle than that, but you saw that, we'll show you what hooks we use, leader material, how to tie knots, do all these things. We're gonna have some cool videos leading up into spring, that way you're all prepared for the spring run of stripers and the big blues coming in. And we're gonna catch fish together. And I'm excited. Whether I it's can't with this wait. gear, that gear, yeah. I, this this winter has winter. been so long. <laughs> it seems it seems so long, but it's been a little torturous actually. You know, you sit home on a Sunday and it's like, yeah, or a Saturday after work and it's like, let's go and it's like, ah, I'm gonna sit in freezing water. Well, there's not even any fish. I mean, I'll just even get wet, you know. <sighs> it is what it is. Like I said before, we're gonna be at the 2023 Ward Melville show, so come by, say hello, buy some stuff, take some pictures, talk about some fishing stuff. We'll be there the entire day, so. I think I'll go to this one. Oh, really? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna put them to work then. Smoocherelease.com slash shop. We got blogs on there. We got stuff to sell. We got bucktails, oh. uh, silicone jigs. Hold on, hold on. We said we were gonna mention it. Oh, we have these as well. The um, the teaspoons. <laughs> the one you and I made that we, one at 11 o'clock at night. 11 o'clock at night, We and I went fishing the next day. I caught, first cast, I caught a 10 plus pound bluefish on it. So we sell those on the website. We'll have them at the Ward Melville show. That was just fun. Great hooks too. So it's not those cheap hooks. It's the hooks that we actually use on every single thing. Yep. You're not going to so. bend those. Those are some quality hooks. Yeah. Yep. Like on everything. Mm -hmm. It's so, you know, everything you want to bend out quality. a hook and lose a fish. That's for sure. Yeah. Maybe we'll do a video talking about the wall one day, especially that bad boy up there. We're going to talk about the hats. We were trying to decide which logo was everybody's favorite. Hey, you want to grab this one? This is the same logo on this one. And the hat, but this is that different hat. We want to get a bunch made, but we want to get something that everybody's going to enjoy. I like this one the best. So do I. But I also like this one, and I like this one. It just depends. The it mood? Yeah, it depends on the mood. In the comments, if you guys can drop a comment about which one you prefer, this way uh, we can get an idea what everyone likes. Yeah. And maybe have it with the show? Maybe have it with the show if we can get answers quick. Yeah. And then also comment down below what you specifically want us to talk about because obviously we have a lot to and this is going on 30 plus minutes. So It's 30 already? 30 plus minutes. Wow. So we're just going to cut it here and get on to the next video soon. All right, guys. So thank you for watching. Stay real, smooch and release, and have some fun on the water. We'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. All right. Let's get the baby. My grand baby. Okay, just the baby wants to say hi. As he trips, throws the baby into the wall. I wasn't going to throw the baby, I swear. Look at All the right, baby. So we got him in his nice shirt. Oh, what does it say? Daddy? Daddy's little fishing buddy. Daddy's little fishing buddy. Now, Owen, we have to ask you a really important question. Van Stahl or BG? Van Stahl. I heard him say it. <laughs> I was showing the onesie. All right, yeah. Hi, buddy. Do, do, do. Hello. Let's show the onesie. Ah. 
There we go. Daddy's little fishing buddy. Say hello to everybody. Say hello. Hi. Hi. This little man's going fishing with us this year. I can't wait to take him fish. He's going to use the nine foot pen prevail and uh, he's going to slam monster stripers. Huh. All right. That is all. Oh, hold on. Let me, let me say hello. Hold him. Come Boop. on. We got to give him a fist pump to say goodbye to everybody. All right. All right, All right, ready? Go give him a fist bump. All right, you ready? Whoosh. That's the lens. Oh, wrong thing. <laughs> Done.